Hi guys, welcome to Stefan Eats and this is our second episode of uh, Cheap Eats. Now today we're gonna focus on a city that for me might be the king of cheap eats and hidden gems in possibly Canada, maybe even North America. We're talking about Richmond, British Columbia. The first place we are going to, Paul's Kitchen and it's uh, a Hong Kong style hole in the wall joint and of course the setting couldn't be more perfect for a cheap heat hidden gem. We are right under the real Canadian superstore. Yeah, we're gonna try it out and uh, looks really good and you can smell it too. Let's go around the corner. Yeah, I love the uh, interior already, just a uh, super chill. Uh, actually, yeah, kind of like those definite Hong Kong vibes. Oh, wow, nice. So that's for sure the beef brisket. That looks really nice. Wow, and of course, let's open this one here, the reveal. Oh, yes, perfect. Looking at this, I was kind of just automatically looking for the chili sauce. I have spotted the chili sauce. Now we're gonna go right to this curry beef brisket. Looks. Look at these giant chunks of beef. Wow, and just uh, digging right into it there. Oh, and you can tell it's melting just a little bit too with that rice. Let's go for this brisket right here. Oh, look at this piece. <laughs> Gonna eat it by itself, I guess, to start. Oh, that steam is just beautiful. Oh, if I could be in a sauna with this kind of steam, I wouldn't leave the sauna. Amazing. Oh yeah, I love the intense flavor of the curry. A nice spiciness to it. That uh, that beef is very tender. I like it quite a bit. There's little bits of fat in there too that mix in. And then I think with the rice, it is just the perfect marriage. It's a match made in heaven. This uh, curry with the rice will be amazing. Mm. Oh. Mm. I just got a bit of gelatinous fat in that bite. Amazing. And what you can tell is you can see just the little fat particles that are mixed in, so I love just the, the ratio of uh, fat to meat. Oh, yes. <laughs> Beautiful start. Mm. Now over here, look at this beautiful luncheon meat. This is pretty much spam and eggs, <laughs> which is exactly what we're looking for. And of course, we're gonna look at that egg right there. And uh, it might be a little bit, yeah, it's not runny, but what you're gonna do is, I think we're just gonna mix in a little bit of the spam with the egg. Yeah, there you go. And of course, you know what I'm gonna do, chili oil for sure. So let's put a little, oh, uh oh. After my, uh, after my Filipino video, I thought I would have learned to use the spoon more often. <laughs> so here you go. Mm. Yeah. Just simple, delicious. You get the saltiness uh, from that luncheon meat, the rice, and then just the egg right on there. You have these big plump wontons. Wow. They look juicy and plump. Wow. <laughs> if only my brain was as big as this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm. Nice meaty wonton. Uh, yeah, the wrapper is really thin. I like it quite a bit, but yeah, definitely that meaty bounce that you get. The broth is very simple, but just another soothing, amazing breakfast dish. Sometimes there's big lineups, so you know, you have to be fast and you have to be brisk it. Why won't you understand? Uh, we're gonna walk around to our next place. This one isn't quite as hidden. I've read about this place and I think it's gonna be uh, pretty legit. So anyways, let's check it out. First thing we have is butter, garlic, chicken wings. Butter, garlic, both things everybody absolutely loves. Super crispy, you can tell. 
I'm just gonna dip it right in there. There you go. Now we're gonna let it coat the whole drumstick. Oh yeah. You can take another bite just to confirm the goodness. <laughs> Very good seasoning. You got a little bit of that granulated garlic in there. Super juicy, crispy on the outside. A little bit of like maybe lemongrass tanginess to it in, uh, in its own way. But yeah, really addictive chicken wings. Really, really good. Uh, almost comparable to the ones you find uh, from uh, Phnom Penh. I would say honestly, just as good. I just look how juicy it is too. Just. Oh, oh, you gotta suffer for the vlog. So this one is gonna be the egg and pate banh mi. Really big, actually. So bigger than a lot of banh mi. I might stay here all day with this thing. I hope they don't ban me. God, that's a terrible joke. This one will have the, this is honestly the reason we came here. Nice crusty toasted uh, baguette. And then inside you have this egg. Ho ho. And of course, I think on the bottom there, you're gonna have, oh. I think the pate is hiding in there some. Oh yeah, there you go. The pate is on the top part there. Mm. <laughs> as soon as I took a bite, the egg came out. <laughs> that creamy egg yolk is what makes the whole salad. So what I recommend you do is when you bite into it, as soon as you see that egg break, just make sure it gets all over the vegetables and the pate. A kind of creamy pate bite with the fresh vegetables, a little bit of the sweetness uh, from the pickling, uh, the pickled vegetables, and a little bit of the spiciness too from that jalapeno. This one here is their special. So you'll see this in most Vietnamese places. The one where you have the pate, you have the pork and the pork belly. And of course, you open that up and you get all these beautiful bits of pork. Oh, look at that pork belly right there. Oh, ho, ho. it feels really soft. I can tell the pate is just oozing out too. The ham, a little bit of saltiness. Uh, definitely got a jalapeno in there, so you get a bit of the spiciness from there too. And then, yeah, that pate just adds kind of like that buttery, kind of porky uh, texture to it. Wow. That's sun. In Vancouver, you get the sun squint because you know in winter sometimes you don't see the sun for a couple weeks and then the sun hits you and it's like, you know, you're being born again. <laughs> Our next place we're gonna go to is super exciting. Big sleeper pick coming up, let's go. dim sum. So it's a special type of dim sum made with all vegetables. So all of this is vegan, which is super unique. Well, it's almost like church glass. Well, yeah, super full of uh, filling. And he recommended this because we were going to order something else and he didn't have it. Yeah, look at that. Just coming right out of there and just fill to the brim. I'm not exactly sure what's inside of here, but I think I'm going to bite into this side right there. Get this, wow, that's really good. Mm. Get a little bit of saltiness, definitely some woodiness. Uh, I think you have some uh, bamboo shoots in there. Uh, definitely some mushrooms, but just earthy, crunchy, uh, lots of textures. It's filled to the brim, super fresh, which so is full of crunchy vegetables. And they all keep, they all retain their texture. This is just simply very, I think it's just stir fried noodles with some vegetables. I think on their menu it's the D1 item. But these beautiful pieces, it looks like tofu skin, beautiful fungus mushrooms, uh, some shiitake it looks like, and of course just some greens with those noodles. Oh yeah, nice texture to them. I'm gonna try all these guys together here. Yeah, there you go, so that's the bite I want. cooked very simple not too salty just tastes fresh it tastes like it makes you feel really good and in a tasty way and yeah I love those mushrooms and those curds just soak up all this beautiful juice hot soy milk and of course with this uh, pancake here which 
is sporting a bit of a green, uh, I'm not sure exactly what that's from. Oh, it's still really hot though. And look at that. Wow. Beautiful. Okay. Nice green onion in it, I think. My brain was very confused there for a little bit. You know, it's an interesting combination. I must say, the sweet soy milk and the green onion. Mm. It works. White carrot cake. Almost looks like it has the same seasonings as like a radish cake, you know, the one that you have with the EXO sauce. This is the only geometry I want to learn. It's like a radish cake, a little bit more mild. Then you have this beautiful soft tender chunks of that white carrot in there and it is a little bit more mild doesn't have that kind of edge that the daikon has look at the texture so you can see almost just these big chunks of carrot stop number four we are now at another spot i've uh, been reading about a little bit and uh, another affordable treat we are heading to luck 18 cart noodle let's go I can drink properly. <laughs> I'm an adult, I swear. Curry fish balls, of course, just a classic staple. These are really interesting. Uh, these are actually uh, deep fried quail eggs, and it looks like uh, maybe some white pepper. Yeah, it looks like white pepper. And then this marinated uh, pork here looks super delicious, and potentially with some pickled greens on the side, maybe mustard greens. And yeah, nicely marinated. And I'm gonna get a little bit of this uh, yeah, mustard green to go with it. I think they're mustard greens. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but yeah, here you go. Yeah, nicely marinated. Mm. The mustard greens have a bit of, I think they're mustard greens, but they have a little bit of a sweetness to them. And I think, I just noticed there's a sauce at the bottom there. Very nice texture. A little bit of the crunch and a bit of a sourness too. The curried fish balls. We requested these uh, extra spicy. A little sauce right there. Let's take a bite. Mmm. Oh, yeah, spicy. I like it. You just get hit right in the face with that spice. But yeah, I think it's all about that sauce. Yeah, get the spicy curry sauce because it's gonna hit you a little bit and that curry kick to it too. Very nice. These are really exciting. These are uh, uh, <laughs> eggs. <laughs> these are quail eggs, and I think it's the. I think it's white pepper that goes with it. Maybe get that slow mo, ma slow -mo action. Oh, mm. yeah. As soon as you bite into it, you get a burst of super rich, uh, more concentrated creamy egg yolk. Because it is the quail egg, you get a little bit more flavor from it. And of course the bouncy texture and the outside kind of crispy shell. We got honeycomb tripe, which is an extra 50 cents, but it's 50 cents, no big deal. We got the fish tofu. We have, uh, looks like, I think it's intestine. Yeah, pork intestine and the sausage. And yeah, you see how the broth is turning a nice, kind of spicy, reddish, orangish color. And I'm just gonna try the broth by itself. Mm. Oh. oh yeah, nice flavor. Let's get these noodles coming out. Oh yes, perfect. And yeah, probably my favorite noodles are egg noodles. Look at that. <laughs> Let's go. I think we're gonna go for a little bit of this tripe too. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I think I was with marinated, a little bit of sweetness, but what I love about honeycomb tripe is if you put it in a soup, it'll soak up half of that soup. It just kind of grows in size. It becomes into a giant honeycomb monster. But what's really cool is you can pretty much just choose what you want, the broth and everything, and it's really solid. Yeah, I really like the broth, the noodles, the meat, everything, and for about 10 bucks, you, you can't go wrong. It's a really, really good deal. Another mall. I've actually never, I've never heard of this mall in my life. I've kind of driven by here a couple times. Uh, this mall. 
yeah, part two of going in there, uh, we needed cash. <laughs> so, a nice long walk to the ATM. Now we're back! <laughs> and let's go. Just kind of winged it a little bit. So we have a lady over here making spare ribs on rice for us. And we have this gentleman over here. And this place looks really cool. So it's Choi House Special Chicken. And uh, the guy speaks zero English. But he pointed to one item and he said Tai Haula, which I know means delicious. That's the only word I know. Uh, thank you, Food Ranger, by the way. Uh, and yeah, and he pointed to it. It was 15 bucks, but I'm not gonna deny, you know, deliciousness. So anyways, we're gonna get a special chicken and a clay pot rice. We're gonna do another back of the car series. Whoa, what is going on? Wow, it's a whole bunch of shredded chicken. Oh, wow. Oh, rice. Oh, that looks cool. So it's kind of shredded. Then you get this rice with the sauce. I think there's a bit of that sweet sauce on the bottom. Some cabbage, it looks like. Kind of maybe reminds me of like a Hainanese chicken, but shredded. Oh, yeah. Mm. Nice saltiness to it. The chicken's very tender. The chicken has those little bits of fat in there that act really nicely. And yeah, just look at the gelatinous itty, gelatinicity of that chicken. And yeah, that sauce coming out there. Oh, I'm gonna get another big bite. And loaded with chicken, lots of chicken. Now I know why I said it's delicious. I can tell, it's the kind of guy who eats this, you know, in the morning, maybe with some chili sauce or something. Get ready for this reveal. Oh, oh wow, yes. Oh, for 12 bucks, there's no way you're getting a better deal than that. That's really good, just full of pork spare ribs full of cabbage, full of juicy rice. Yeah, I said juicy rice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, how about this guy? Oh, look at that chunk just on the corner there. Whoa, just steaming with some rice and that sauce. Looks absolutely amazing. Let's go. Oh yeah. I taste some garlic in there, for sure. Super tender spare rib. Uh, that one had no bone in it, but just melt in your mouth. The rice is a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, more al dente, so it kind of sticks up nicely with that. Uh, I think a little bit sweet, kind of uh, salty soy sauce. Just a hefty, giant bite. I think it's time for dessert. <laughs> Look at that consistency. So much for uh, tuning into this uh, video for our cheap eats episode in uh, Richmond. Really, some amazing places. And once again, I uh, feel like it's really important to support these businesses. Uh, if you do enjoy our videos, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit us up with those comments, and uh, definitely uh, hit the bell icon so you can get the notifications for when we release our videos. We're gonna see you super soon. Ciao.